The second question from our sisters today, many cultures in order to hide shame make fornicators marry after they find out the girl is pregnant. Is the nikah valid? Firstly, for those who know about this situation, the husband and the wife in the marriage, they should know that the marriage is invalid as the marriage to a pregnant woman is invalid in Islamic law, whether it's your pregnancy from you as the man or someone else. The pregnant woman is not allowed to be married. And a man should fear Allah and not think that I'm covering for something. You have a scandalous woman, you are a scandalous person. Why do you think this pregnancy is yours? How certain can you be that this is your son or daughter? You have a fornicatress and you are a fornicator. She's pregnant. Why do you insist that that's your baby? As she fornicated with you, what would stop her from fornicating with someone else? Where do you get the, you know, the clause that this must be my child? Except that you just wish and hope that it's your child. You don't want the reality of the possibilities there. Number one, the marriage is invalid. But as a community, if a young man and a young woman hid something that they did, and she got pregnant, and soon after her pregnancy, they decided to get married. The girl's wali marries her to the boy, and we don't know about this. Then we marry them, because we don't have knowledge of what happened. They bear the sin of what they have done together with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. The marriage from our vantage point is valid, because we don't have any evidence to say the marriage is invalid. Clear? They know that the marriage is invalid. They'll be held to that with Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Like the man, similar to the case of the man who intends to divorce a woman. Right? Marriage, the mut'a marriage, temporary marriage for a short time, is impermissible. But when a man has that intention, like I'm going to be in the country for three months, so I'm going to marry this girl, enjoy her for three months, and then when I leave, I'll divorce her on my way out. That's his intention as he comes into the marriage. He is sinful for this intention, and his marriage between himself and his Lord, he should know that this marriage is invalid. However, the girl wouldn't know unless he told her. The wali of the girl doesn't know. So in terms of them, they look at the issue as this is a marriage and this is valid. And they're not accountable for what's in his heart. Yet he is accountable for what he knows and his decision. So likewise, two people, two young people have come to the masjid. The girl has a wali. He wants to facilitate a marriage with a young man. They've been together, but we don't know that. They don't tell us. They keep that to themselves. We hope that they repent to Allah Ta'ala from that and that they're getting married now as repentive servants of Allah and their marriage is valid. Sorry, the, the, she's pregnant. That's the issue that we're dealing with. So the marriage would not be valid. They would have to allow her to go through her istibra, that she goes through her pregnancy until she has the baby. Then he can marry her both after his repentance and after her repentance and the child is born. And it's hard sometimes to fix things. It's not always the case that once you've done something wrong, you can fix it. There's always a way to fix it physically. Sometimes, no. There will remain behind evidence of sinful behavior. You put a tattoo on your face, that's sinful. You can repent to Allah Ta'ala with beautiful repentance, and Allah will accept your repentance. The tattoo remains on your face. The tattoo is there on your face. When you repent, it doesn't disappear. You get the idea? So there are sins that you commit the blemish and the evidence of the sin remains after you repent. So for these two people, they can repent genuinely. And then the child remains as an evidence to something that happened before their repentance.